Welcome to our book summary channel, where we dive into the pages of captivating books to bring you the essence of their wisdom. Today, we embark on a journey with Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom. This heartwarming memoir takes us on a profound exploration of life, love, and the power of human connection. Join us as we uncover the profound lessons shared by the remarkable Maury Schwartz and delve into the transformative impact this book has had on countless lives. Get ready to be inspired, enlightened, and moved by the timeless wisdom of Tuesdays with Maury. Chapter 1. The Curriculum. In the opening chapter, Mitch Albom, the author and narrator, introduces the book by reflecting on his own life. He was a young and ambitious student in college, determined to make a name for himself. One of his favorite professors was Maury Schwartz, a sociology professor who was known for his wisdom and ability to connect with his students. Albom lost touch with Maury after graduating, but one day he sees Maury on television, being interviewed by Ted Koppel about his battle with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Chapter 2. The Syllabus. Albom decides to reach out to Maury and arranges a visit. When he arrives at Maury's house, he is shocked to see how much his old professor has deteriorated physically. Despite this, Maury remains positive and shares his philosophy on life and death. He tells Albom that he wants to make the most of the time he has left and hopes to impart his wisdom to others. Chapter 3. The Student. Albom begins visiting Maury every Tuesday, and they engage in deep and meaningful conversations. Maury teaches Albom important lessons about life, love, and relationships. One of the first lessons Maury imparts is the importance of acknowledging and embracing our emotions. He tells Albom that it's okay to cry and express vulnerability, as it allows us to truly connect with others. Chapter 4. The Audiovisual. As Maury's condition worsens, Albom starts to record their conversations. He feels a sense of urgency to capture Maury's wisdom and share it with others. Albom is deeply moved by Maury's ability to find joy and meaning in the face of his own mortality. Mori emphasizes the importance of living a life that aligns with our values and passions, rather than chasing material success. Chapter 5. The Orientation. Mori shares his thoughts on aging and society's obsession with youth. He believes that our culture is too focused on appearances and superficial pursuits, rather than investing in relationships and personal growth. He encourages Albom to question societal norms and to prioritize what truly matters in life. Chapter 6. The Classroom. Maury invites Albom to imagine his own funeral and think about how he wants to be remembered. This exercise prompts Albom to reflect on his own values and the legacy he wants to leave behind. Maury teaches him the importance of cultivating deep and meaningful connections with others, as it is these relationships that bring true happiness and fulfillment. Chapter 7. The Student and the Teacher. Albom learns about Maury's childhood and the impact his family had on shaping his values and beliefs. Maury's father was a Russian immigrant who instilled in him the importance of education and community. Maury's mother was a gentle and compassionate woman who taught him the power of love and empathy. Maury credits his parents for the person he has become and encourages Albom to appreciate his own family. Chapter 8. The Audiovisual, Part 2. Maury's physical condition continues to deteriorate, but his mind remains sharp. He shares his thoughts on forgiveness and the importance of letting go of grudges. Maury believes that holding on to anger and resentment only hampers our own well-being. He teaches Albom the value of forgiveness and the freedom it brings. Chapter 9. The Subconscious. Maury and Albom discuss the role of dreams and the subconscious in our lives. Mori believes that dreams can offer valuable insights into our desires and fears. He encourages Albom to pay attention to his dreams and use them as a tool for self-reflection and personal growth. Chapter 10. The Tenth Tuesday. We talk about marriage. On the Tenth Tuesday, Mori and Albom discuss the concept of marriage. Mori shares his views on love, commitment, and the challenges that arise in long-term relationships. He emphasizes the importance of open communication and compromise, as well as the need for unconditional love and acceptance. Chapter 11. The Audiovisual, Part 3. Maury's physical condition continues to deteriorate rapidly, and he becomes increasingly dependent on others for basic tasks. Despite this, 
he maintains his positive outlook and continues to teach Albom valuable life lessons. Mori reflects on the fear of aging and dying, and he encourages Albom to confront his own mortality and make the most of his time. Chapter 12. The Teacher and the Student Part 2. Mori shares stories of his past and the experiences that shaped him. He talks about his work as a social worker and his desire to make a positive impact on the world. Mori encourages Albom to find his own purpose and to use his talents and passions to make a difference. Chapter 13. The Fourteenth Tuesday. We say goodbye. On the fourteenth Tuesday, Mori is in a critical condition, and his death is imminent. Albom is deeply saddened but grateful for the time he has spent with his mentor. They have their final conversation, where Mori imparts his final lesson. The importance of love and the need to embrace the inevitability of death. Mori passes away, but his teachings and the impact he had on Albom's life live on. Conclusion Tuesdays with Mori is a deeply moving and thought-provoking book that explores the meaning of life, love, and the inevitability of death. Through his conversations with Mori, Albom learns valuable lessons about the importance of relationships, the pursuit of meaningful work, and the power of forgiveness. Mori's wisdom and his ability to find joy and purpose in the face of his own mortality inspire Albom and readers alike to live fully and embrace what truly matters. The book serves as a reminder to cherish the people we love, to prioritize our values over material success, and to make the most of the time we have. Ultimately, Tuesdays with Mori is a testament to the enduring power of human connection and the transformative impact that one person can have on another's life. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.